How's it going guys? Um, real quick video here um, about repairing these old TOA uh, loudspeakers from the 70s I believe. Um, I just figured that this information might be helpful to somebody out there so I'm making a video about it but basically what's going on here is I got these speakers off of Craigslist for a hundred bucks and uh, one of them almost sounds like this woofer, this 15 inch woofer here is blown but it's not actually blown. Uh, the voice coil in the back is actually rubbing on the magnet, which I'll show you in a second, but uh, it's really, really super easy to fix on these things, at least this particular model. So maybe this will help somebody out. We'll see. So I'm not sure if you could hear that, but I'm just pushing on the center of the cone here, and you can hear it rubbing. If you go over to the good speaker, I can push on this all I want and you don't hear anything, you don't feel anything, it's just really nice and smooth and that's how it should be. So the bad side really isn't rubbing all that much, but it's definitely enough to notice it, especially when you're playing the speaker at low volumes. Um, anything that comes through this woofer kind of sounds muffled and, and dead, like, like it's blown more or less. But uh, like I said, super easy to fix, so I'm gonna show you that. All right, so if we come around back here, see that I uh, took the back off, sitting over there. And uh, what we're gonna do now is just take the, uh, all these eight screws out of the front, just so we can work on the speaker outside of the uh, enclosure. All right guys, so we got the speaker out here. Um, again, it's rubbing, um, so I'm gonna flip it over. And this is nice, this has got this front lip, so I don't have to worry about damage, uh, damaging the cone at all. But uh, this magnet on top here, there should be a pretty straightforward way of taking that off. Um, in my case, if you could see it, I don't know if you can, but there are some uh, Allen head bolts in there that will take this the uh, magnet off the back. and. You're not going to want to take the magnet totally off, you're just going to want to loosen the bolts because what's happening, what's causing it to rub, is um, right here, see this ring? On the other side, that's actually a very, very thin groove that the voice coil sits in. I'll, I'll put a picture up on the screen of this thing taken apart. But the voice coil is basically like a paper thin, like if you take a piece of paper and roll it up into like a circle, so you get like a, um, a cylinder. That's basically what the voice coil looks like, and it fits into a very thin groove in the magnet, and there's not a lot of clearance for it to move back and forth. So if that's off at all, it'll rub on this magnet. Um, so what we want to do basically is just loosen up all of the bolts that hold the magnet on and just ever so slightly move it so where it doesn't rub anymore. Tighten the bolts back up, and uh, you should be good to go with this speaker. Alright guys, so what I've done here is I've loosened up all of these bolts inside that hold the magnet on and now you can see that this thing moves around a little bit and when there's so little clearance between the voice coil and the magnet, that's really all you need. So if you see, like, maybe if I move it over here, yeah, now we're rubbing, if you could hear that, we're rubbing a lot, whereas if, see if I could get it, but if I move it, so here we go. Now I just moved it and there's no rub at all anymore. So as long as you could just find that point at which the speaker doesn't rub anymore, assuming that, that your particular speaker has enough play in this magnet, um, you should be set. Just just tighten the bolts back down. You know, make sure the thing doesn't move obviously while you're tightening them down. But um, you know, just throw the speaker back into the enclosure and you should be all set. Again, I, I understand that this may not be the solution to, you know, 90% of speakers. I don't know, but figured I would just put this out there because, you know, I, I didn't think it would be such an easy fix in my case. So have a good one, guys. See you later.